Hey guys, today I just want to show you a small and easy customization that I've made to my own Shopify store and you can too. It's basically having two product description areas. So as you can see, I've got this small summary here and then my actual product description is below being output as a full width section. So what is up here is not my product description. It's actually just a meta field, a rich text meta field. So I'll show you how to output that using a custom liquid block here. And then my actual product description, the one which is quite important for SEO also, that's being output below. And the reason I've done that is because I'm just not really a fan of having a long description here in the product information section, as is the case with most Shopify themes, you use this description block and then it outputs your product description here. And I just think that it doesn't look very nice and it encourages people to write a shorter product description, but you want a long product description for SEO purposes. And also just depending on your product, obviously I have the type of product that requires a little bit of explanation. And that's why I prefer this sort of layout. So this is achieved with a custom liquid field, which I'll show you very quickly. And then this can be achieved with a custom liquid field or with a pre-built section that I have built and I'm selling on my store, shop.ed.codes. I'll show you a free way of doing it as well using a custom liquid field. And the main difference is going to be whether you know a little bit of CSS so that you can customize the design yourself or would you prefer a section that comes with lots of settings for you to customize the visuals? Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, let's start with the short summary because that's gonna be rather quick. First step is to create a meta field. If you've never created one before, don't worry, it's quite easy. I've called mine short description, but I'll create another one now called summary so that you can follow along. So I'll click on view all to view all my meta fields. Uh, and then I'll just click on view definitions. And this takes you to the same screen as if you would go to settings and then custom data and just add definition and I'll call it summary. So that'll give us the namespace and key custom.summary, which is what we're going to use later. And now we can select the type and what we want is a rich text meta field so that we can use multiple paragraphs and headings and bullet point lists if we want. Okay, so let's save that. We've got summary here, close that, go back to your product. And now on any product page, you should see the summary meta field, click into it, add your description. So I'm just gonna use this first line here. Save. And now we wanna output that onto the page using a custom liquid section. Now you might think that you can just use this text section here, but unfortunately you cannot because this only accepts a single line of text. So if I write something here and I wanna create a new paragraph, you see I'm, I'm pressing enter right now and it's not letting me create a new paragraph because this, this entire field, this entire block is only intended for one line of text and it's not going to let us output that rich text meta field so that's why we've got to use a custom liquid block instead and inside this custom liquid block let's first drag it to somewhere where we want it underneath the title and first thing we're going to do is open up some double curly braces like this and we're going to write product dot meta fields and then we want the namespace and key, which when we defined it, we saw that it was custom.summary. So we're going to use that now. Product.metafields.custom.summary. That's like the ID of the meta field. And right now, what you'll see is just a JSON object. It's, it's not ready. I mean, you can sort of see that we, we've got our content in here, but to make this actually readable, to convert this into normal HTML. You wanna use the pipe symbol here. So that's like shift backslash, will give you the pipe symbol. 
and then type meta field underscore tag. And that's a filter in Shopify Liquid. That's, that modifies the output, basically. And so now here we have our meta field contents and that's all we really needed to do. And so now we're gonna hit save. You can put any text you want in here. You can use headings, you can use bullet points or anything. Okay, now let's move on to the big one, the main product description. How do we get this to be output as a full width section here? Obviously on my store, I am simply using the, uh, the description section that I built, added settings for it, made it a section that I would want to use and it's available on shop.ed.codes. But first of all, let me show you the free option using custom liquid. So here we're looking at a copy of my main theme. I've removed the description from here and I wanna add a full width description here. So let's add our custom liquid section. Let's drag it up to where we want that to be. So under the product information section, now to output the product description, it is extremely simple. Double curly braces, and inside of those, you're going to write product.description. That's all there is to it. As you can see, it needs a little bit of styling because it's not contained within our, our website's wrapper or container. And I've shown this on many other tutorials, but in Dawn theme, which is what I'm using, you can use a class called page width, okay? And, uh, and that class is what wraps everything in, in Dawn. All of these sections have this, this div with a class of page width around them that creates the correct paddings like the rest of your theme. Now, one more thing I'd probably recommend adding is another div also with a class of RTE. This stands for rich text element and it just applies the correct sort of styling to large text areas. For example, on many themes, it will adjust the, the, the color and the size of the, the body text. Uh, but if you just notice, if I delete this now, the image will be less styled. You know, when I add RTE, the image will have a slight border, right? So that's generally a, a good thing to add around any sort of like whenever you're outputting some raw text. On my store, obviously, I have this sort of design where I'm using these rounded borders around almost everything. It actually kind of reminds me of Gumroad. I guess I'm kind of inspired by by the design of Gumroad. And so if you wanted to do something like that, you would need to use the custom CSS. Let's target the RTE div that we just added. For example, we can add something like border one pixel solid black like so and then we need to add some side paddings so let's go with padding actually we're going to add top and bottom so let's go 20 pixels top and bottom and then 40 pixels side paddings like so and we might want to round the uh, the corners so border radius eight pixels that's what i'm using and uh, as you can see it's starting to look a bit better we can also add a, a background color here like so I obviously need to choose a better gray than that but as you can see if you do know some basic CSS then you can probably design this to your exact requirements so that's one option it's always going to be more convenient to have an actual built-in section that is you know just like a section that's part of your theme when you click add section you can simply add that description section anywhere across your website and you can in fact use it on the collection page as well to output collection descriptions but i'll show you that later let me show you how easy it is to add this section to your theme i'm on a copy of my theme that has no code changes so let's click on these three dots here control and click to open in a new tab the uh, the code editor and we're going to just look for the sections folder click add a new section and it's gonna be liquid, and we're gonna name the file ed underscore descriptions dot liquid. You don't need to type that part, and you also don't need to name it after me. Uh, name it after yourself or your company name or just anything that is recognizable to you uh, that tells you that this is not part of the theme and it's a file that you added yourself. Okay, so save that. We're gonna just 
highlight everything here and backspace to delete it. We don't need any of this. And when you buy this product, you'll have access to this file where you can find some simple instructions and the code itself. So click here to copy the entire code and we're just going to paste it into that empty file that we just created. Save. And that's all you need to do. Now, when we go back into the theme customizer, simply refresh the page. And the next time that you press add section, you should be able to see our new section here. Okay, so as soon as you add that, you'll see your product description is being output. You can drag that to wherever you want it. And now we can just customize it a little bit. As you can see, it, it should in most themes, like in Dawn, it will already be lined up with the rest of your theme. Uh, and that's thanks to this page width here, 1200. That's gonna be the, the standard for Dawn based themes, but yours might be like 1260 or something. When you, when you switch this full screen mode, you can do it by eye. You see 1260 is too wide for my site and it's, it's 1200. Or in fact, if you are on a Dawn based theme, you can just put page width in the custom classes here and then that's going to handle it all automatically for you and you can leave this at blank or at zero and there are a lot of other settings in here as well for example if you don't have a heading you can do that uh, you can align it differently but since i have headings in my description i'm not doing that we can also set the width of the text itself to a more readable width of 700 pixels this is considered best practice because it's easier to read a shorter line of text. We can also position it differently. Now these paddings are for the outer paddings of the section itself. Then we can of course make a card type appearance as I've done on my store. Here we just want an eight pixel border radius. We can change the background color if we want. We can change these paddings. There are lots of different settings. And that's all there is to it. So as you can see, it's quite easy. You can go to your collections template as well. I only have a short description now, so this is not a good example, but if you had a very long description, then perhaps you don't want it in the default position where it is above the products because it, it will push the products down the page and it's just too much text at the top of the page if you had a long description here. So you could use this description section to output the description at the bottom of the page. And that's what you would do if you care about collection SEO and you wanna have more text content on this collection page, just put it at the bottom of the page using this description section. And at the top here, you can, if you want, just have a, a rich text section instead, which just has a, a short bit of text, okay? A rich text section with a, a meta field or something. No button, nothing like that. And then I forgot to mention, but you can easily hide this default one by unchecking show collection description in the collection banner section. So that's all guys, I hope you found this video useful. You'll find a link in the description for where you can buy this section. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video.